Welcome back. We are checking out the Super Bowl of Aviation this week. Yeah, the EAA Air Venture. Great fun for kids and families, but for some, it is a very personal journey. Jesse Garcia reports from Oshkosh. Here at the EAA, one of the most interesting and historic sections is the Warbirds. You can see the Tuskegee Airmen plane right behind me. There are many others that actually were in battle and just vintage planes from all sorts of different wars. And they also do a little bit of a program where they have some historic reenactments and even a singer. Blue skies, the crowds were waiting for World War II veterans to tell their stories. Mert Hansen is one of them. He and his family, minus a daughter who has cerebral palsy and couldn't travel, came from Des Moines, Iowa. Mert, who is 92, flew at Iwo Jima. It's awfully hard to figure out why I'm the only pilot left to be so honored in our squadron. It, uh, a lot of things in life that are hard to explain. A vintage airplane enthusiast found Mert's original plane and restored it meticulously to how it was after the war, right down to the bullet holes. That has meant an awful lot to me that my family understands what I had and what I had the privilege of doing. It's really been fun to see him light up when he uh, when he saw that plane and tear up the first time. He was. You know, he was uh, back about, you know, 70 years. He, he had three observers actually got hit while, uh, while he was flying. He never uh, was wounded himself uh, while he was in the air. But, uh, but you can see that uh, there's just not much there in, in terms of, uh, uh, of protection. Hansen and two other veterans were brought from the stands to the stage. I was a kid, he'd always talk about the fun stories and the silly things and the crazy things that they did, you know, when they're flying. But uh, this actually got him to open up and he actually talked about some of the, the, the more traumatic things that, that went on. Afterwards, Mert was like a rock star signing autographs. The EAA has given veterans respect. They never had post war. Much like an honor flight he also took, where cheering crowds made him cry. He said he felt like a, a real schmuck because he said he started tearing up and, you know, because and, 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 it was like he said this was a parade we never had, you know, when I came back from World War II. We all just came back and went, went to work, went to school. And uh, he said he felt like such a, such, a, such a wimp. And he looks around and he said half the bus was crying. So and I think this has just been an extension of that because this happened after that. And, and so uh, he's, it's given him the opportunity to, to really feel appreciated for, for the job they did. Long overdue and very, very meaningful. In Oshkosh, Jesse Garcia, today's TMJ4. What are the odds they could find mm. his exact plane? That is so special, wow. so poignant. This was uh, Mert's second trip to the EAA, but the very first time he was honored there. How nice. It is wonderful. Well, tomorrow we're going to focus on grandparents and kids and how they, too, are enjoying the EAA together. Lots going on up there. Well, up